This is a screenshot slideshow going through the Smart Start assisted installation of an operating system onto a ProLiant server. I'm using Smart Start on a bootable USB key, and the OS install image is actually on the exact same key. Here's the uh, screen you're going to see after you boot this uh, USB key. It's the Smart Start screen. I've got just one boot image on that, the Smart Start uh, image itself, so we click on that. Then we select the language that we want Smart Start to be using. This is the main Smart Start menu. Installing an operating system is just uh, one of the five things you could do. A little warning icon on the install uh, command lets you know that some configuration needs to be done prior to the operating system installation. So, we go into the maintenance button, and in here, I'm going to uh, use the array configuration utility to build a uh, mirrored pair of uh, hard drives for our RAID 1 array. I'm not going to go through all the steps of building that up, but uh, after we get that done, we go right back into the uh, Smart Start main menu and we choose to install the operating system. The first screen you'll see is the OS Select screen where we're going to pick the version of the operating system we're going to install. In this case, it's a 64-bit version of uh, Windows Server 2008. We've already got a partition set up, so we're going to select uh, which partition and or select the uh, size of the boot partition we're going to use in the file system type. Now here we're going to select what media to install the operating system from. As you can see here, I'm going to select the USB key itself. Uh, right below this menu, or kind of hidden behind there, you're going to specify the file format, either a flat file or an ISO image. I'm actually going to use an ISO image. And remember, the ISO image I'm going to install from is actually on the same USB key that I just booted SmartStar from. Here you can see I've drilled down um, into the uh, USB key and clicked on the uh, ISO image itself. We enter in some additional information about the uh, server we're going to use, the administrator password, uh, owner name, and uh, in this case I'm using uh, the license key. And for those of you trying to steal my license key, uh, as you can see, it's, it's not going to happen. Next, Smart Start asks you if you want to install the uh, Insight agents or the WebM agents as part of the OS install. Finally, it verifies you got all the right information. You click Next to continue, and it begins the installation. Obviously, this is a slideshow, so uh, I just grab one of the screens from the middle there, and ta-da, that's it. Uh, we end, we reboot, and the operating system is ready to go.